This conference will now be recorded. Guys, good morning. Guys, last class, I think all of you done the giddy installation, right? Are you feeling happy? <laughs> giddy installation done, right? Yes. Guys, today class, <coughs> if you are ready with the giddy installation, all of you, let me go with the class, the git class three. I think git class one, you understood what the pro what is the what is the purpose of the git. Uh, Git will uh, overcome the problems. Uh, Git can track the code between like, among multiple developers, share the code between multiple developers, manage the code between multiple developers, maintain the versions of the project, and you can secure your code at single repository, remote repository. And there are three types of version control system. And we understood the terminology local repository and uh, remote repository. And we understood the terminology Git versus GitHub. Git is the uh, which is installed in the local machine, local repository. GitHub we create the account right. Uh, GitHub is a remote repository server. <coughs> and uh, last class, what we done? Git download and what uh, initialization is done and create the account in what uh, GitHub, right? Exactly. Yes, today Git class three. Huh? I need to create the already Git account is there, right? I need to push my project to the Git. Let me create one temp, temp uh, what you can say, dummy folder, like first project folder, one repository, and I'll push that file into the my server. Push the file into what server, right? GitHub, right? Exactly, guys. To push the project to Git, uh, to push the project to what you can say here, Git, uh, we need to follow the four steps. Um, to push the project to Git, we need to follow the how many steps here? Four steps, guys. Watch the video slowly, try to do the practical problem. Got the point, right? Do the practical problem. Guys, to push the project to the git, you need to follow four steps. First one is what? Uh, initialize the git folder. Guys, you created one folder now. Make that folder as a git folder. Initialize what? Ma? Git folder. Make the, make the normal folder as a, as a which folder? Git folder. Guys, make the normal folder as a git folder, right? Number one. Initialize the git folder. Second step is what? Uh, uh, stage the file um, stage the files uh. staging means previewing the file like maybe your folder contains your project contains 20 files but you don't want to push the 20 files you want to push uh, how many files uh? stage the files stage the files uh. stage the files is nothing but preview the files um, uh. we are previewing how many files you have right preview the files the staging is nothing but adding the files guys preview the files or we can say what adding the tell me adding the files right adding the uh, adding the files like this guys a stage the files nothing but previewing the files nothing but adding the files all are same meanings stage the files are saying saying stage the files means out of 10 files how many files you want to push those files you can stage it previewing your files before the movie release you need to preview right then adding the files Adding what more? Adding the files, right? Uh, adding the files. The third step is after staging is completed, commit the commit your changes. Commit the changes. Commit the files, otherwise, simple word. Commit the files. Commit the files to local repository, guys. Commit the files to local repository. Once the commit the files to local repo, guys, we are committing the files, sir. We have decided these are the files I'm going to commit, right? Commit the file to local repository. After committing the files, push the files to uh, what you can say, remote repository. Right? Push the push the files to what you can say here, remote uh, repository, right? Remote repository is nothing but GitHub. Guys, remote repository is nothing but what? Uh, Git GitHub, right? Exactly. Guys, how many points, man? Initialize the git folder. Guys, yes, initialize the git folder. Stage the files. Commit the files to local repository. Push the files to remote repository. See, yes. Commit means local. Push means central. Okay. Can I do this all the steps, right? Yes. Guys, go for the local disk D. Some local disk. Okay, this PC, local disk D. Yes, let me create one folder. What the folder now? new let me create the folder yes can i take this is the first project the folder name first project yes make sure that 
previous video in the git you created account right your repository you created right what is the repository you created in the git uh, first project right better to make sure that this project this repository name uh, this repository same because i want to push this project right that's what first project in the first project new i want to create some uh, text document that is what type of document am abc right that's this is a text document abc file you're doing hi ratan sir uh, hi ratan sir uh, ratan sir nice ratan sir what nice and hero and uh, hi students uh, hi students what you can say like the video like the like the video comment and subscribe what choice is yours guys guys can please save this file and save it now yes assume like this is my source code right this is my source code guys i need to put this project into this file into the guys i need to put this project into what am i which is like abc file right i need to push this project into the my github i need to push guys first of all can you please open that my git bash from this folder right click on this folder open show more option or oh, git bash here on this folder you can write the git bash right click on the folder then git bash what the advantage this is whose system guys bagesh system uh, this is like local disk d directly that location goes but generally what happen you know i may pet uh, some people are doing like open the command this git bash they are moving to that for location using cd command change directory command it's not required guys which folder is a git folder directly go to that folder right click on what uh, git bash right click on what git bash open a git bash from that folder okay guys first of all i need to check the git status guys first of all git the status read the point clearly it's saying that it is not a what it is saying tell me it is not a git repository it's saying it's not a git repository it's normal repository right it's saying it's a normal repository guys you want to make that normal repository as a git repository right guys you want to make that normal repository as which repository git, git repository guys to make this normal repository as git repository you are going for the git init git what ma init initialization of empty git repository right initialization is done see guys now we will get the master branch or not exactly guys for our git status now we can see first time when you take the git status it's saying that first project is not a git repository right now it is saying that tell me guys now it is saying that it is a git repository right run this code see guys now it is not saying it's not a git repository it's saying that it contains untracked file what is untracked file abc.txt file right guys this is called first step of git initialization making the git init means what am i first git status you are checking it's saying that it's not a repository then git init then it's saying that okay your repository is a git is so it got the clarity right that is a git initialization tama git init command making your project is a git project guys initialize empty git repository ma in the local disk d first project is there right there dot git file will be generated dot git file will be generated see here you can see right local disk d first project dot git it generated sir show me that file guys by default that file is not visible Yes, we need to go for the here dot 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 is there, right? That is a hidden folder actually. Go for this dot dot dot. What we can say options in options view here show hidden files. Click on OK. Now see this is a git folder generated. Just now it is created, right? Just now it is created, right? Git initialization is done. After git initialization is done, the next step is what? Tell me. Where git initialization is what done? Make the normal folder as a git folder. Second one is what stays the files. Staging means what add the files. To add the files, here is saying the error clear message ma. A B star T X T red mark. It means not stays. That is saying that this command here itself it is showing right. What is the command here? Git add file name. What the file name? A B C star T X T. Click on enter. Okay. Now stays it. Sir, how can we know that, sir? How can you know that? Get status. See, now file is coming green color, right? First it is red color. Always first I check the git status. Then get in it. Initialization is done. Git status. Passing file. 
Then again, add the file. After adding, hit status. Working file, right? Yes. Okay, this is nothing but staging the file. Staging the file. Okay, so after staging, the staging is done. Then we need to go for what? Commit the files. Commit the file to local repository. Just to commit the file to local repository, what you can say like, you know, git commit, what the command here, git commit, iPhone m, we need to give the message. We need to give what? Message, right? The message is him like, uh, returns, uh, uh, first commit, something like this. First commit, I'm giving the message like this. Click on enter. Uh, see, guys. Actually, this is directly going for the commit. Huh? But here it will ask the two things. Sir. Number one, it's asking like your email ID. Two commands it will show. You are unauthorized. It is asking the two files. I will show directly opening. But it's asking how many things? Two things. One is user dot email ID, user dot name. User dot email ID commands also visible there. You guys comments are also you can see. Maybe I'm not getting here, but you will get the data. You can see the comments also. Copy that command, place the command. There in the double quotes, it is asking email ID. Give your email ID of the GitHub account. GitHub account email ID. One command we have to execute. Second command we have to execute user dot name. Username is there, right? Username double double quotes is there. User dot name double equal to equal to double quotes is there. There we need to give this one here. Ratan here is the name, git name. So those two commands we have to execute here. Generally, you are, you got the message unauthorized. Okay. If you are getting this message, no problem. Okay, this is the git commit is over. Then how many steps are done? Git initialization is done. Uh, git, git, git initialization is done. Staging is done. Commit is done. Then we need to push data to remote repository. Just to push the code to remote repository. Ma. First of all, you represent this remote repository information. right? Here we have to specify to which remote repository I have to push. To do that, go to your remote repository. This is a remote repository, right? Rather than hero first process. Here in the command is there. This command you need to copy. Git remote, get origin, add origin. Guys, git remote what? Add origin, right? Click on paste. See, guys. Git remote, add origin, github.com, Rathan hero, first project dot git. Here I want to push the project, right? Add this one. After adding this, after adding this, one more command, push command is there. Guys, this command is pushing or just representing the remote repository. Representing the remote repository. Guys, this is just representing what? Remote repository. What about this line here? Pushing that, right? Uh, then you can write a push. Guys, here we can, just you can paste the command. Guys, here we need to go for stop message coming, remove that message. Git push, hyphen u, origin, main is not there. Here, this is the repository name is showing, right? Master repository. That's what gets here. You can write the master. Just click on enter. Now, once if you click on enter, yes, once if you click on what? Enter. Now, in the bottom side, we can see, right? Here, we can see one authentication, me authentication message. Yes, here, maybe immediately not get here. Generally, it will get the pop up actually. But the pop up is not getting, just you can check the taskbar. Here, the pop up is generated. This is a git bash. You will get this kind of uh, window. But in the command prompt directly open, not open, not open. It is showing from here, right? I open from here itself. You guys sign in with the browser. Sign in with what? Browser. Sign in with the browser. Then it open the sign in page. You guys open what? Sign in page. You guys sign in with the browser. Yeah, okay, sign into browser means you'll get like this. Sign into browser, right? Otherwise, get ecosystem. Otherwise, this. Once if you authorize, authentication succeeded. Once authentication succeeded, you open this git bash, automatically you got this message. Counting object 100%, enumerating object 3 done. <coughs> Data completion, right? Branch master, setup track, origin master. You'll get this message, right? Because once authentication success, by default, you get this one, right? I think you got the clarity now. Actually, here two things we have to do. First one, git remote add user. We have to add actually, but in my system coming or not coming, or not coming. But now I got the while pushing, it's asking authentication about that uh, authentication, right? About the browser. Exactly. 
guys once if it is done now come here github this is my account right Pratan here first project right i am pushing to this one right because uh, here git remote add arjun master or not this one you are representing once if i refresh here i expected my file what is the file tell me guys uh, here you can see shri uh, this is a system name actually what am i system name right exactly guys uh because you know i told you that uh, i told you that uh, you need to give the username and the email right uh, because i didn't give na by default is taking the three way three way info the side but here you will get your information of no all because you are giving your email id and what uh, your username right uh, remember that points ma once if you open this file you will get our message see guys this is a message what you are committed right Hi Ratan sir, Ratan sir is nice hero. Students are like the video. Come in the video. That is called push operation. I think you got the clarity right. All the steps are clearly done. I think only one step is missing here. Which means is not missing. Email ID and username. That uh, actually what happened? This is the baggage system, right? That's what here it is taking the baggage information. That's what here another is asking, right? Then give your email ID and your name. Your email ID and what? Your name, right? Just like that. Two other indications required. One is uh, while committing, you have to give your email ID and your name, and while pushing, we have to give the uh, remote repository authentication, right? But remote repository while pushing, directly you will get the pop up here. No, no. Directly you will not get the pop up. We need to go with what? Here downside, you can find one icon. Click on that. Some people directly will get the pop up. Guys, pushing is done, right? Uh, this video will go for this push operations. I think these all operations are clearly right. Uh, guys, while teaching, you come in, you pause the video and then try to add all the comments. Do the step by step process. Guys, how many classes we did total? Three classes. Class one, what is Git? Git is only for the share the data among the multiple developers, track the changes, uh, track the changes, share the code, and merging the problems, pro project version problem. Code is what secure, right? Exactly. Remote repository, local repository. You know Git versus GitHub, right? Git is a local repository. GitHub is what remote repository. Git we are downloading, we are installing. But GitHub we are creating account. We are creating what account, right? Second video we install these two things, right? Third video we are going for what a Git push operation. What the class four I will go with Git pull operation. I will pull the data. I can do modification. I can also push. Got the clarity, right? Yes. Guys, okay, like the video. I think write the notes, write all the comments. Like the video, subscribe the video, subscribe the video channel, channel. Uh, like the video, comment the video, subscribe to our channel to get the more videos. Bye, guys.